So, Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Uh, now, we'll try to learn about remolding the soil sample. How to remold the soil sample? Remold. Remolding of soil sample. So, how to remold the soil sample? So, this is an alternative of the undisturbed sample. If we don't have the undisturbed sample, then we have to remold the soil sample for performing the test, like direct shear test, UCS test, and so on. So, for perform uh, for remolding the soil sample, we must have the density of the soil sample. It can be gamma bulk and it can be dry density. Let's say we have one point seven gram per centimeter cube dry density from the field and we have the moisture content that is let's say 10 percent. Now before explaining the remolding of the soil sample the question arises how we obtain the dry density and moisture content. So dry density and moisture content can be obtained uh, using different ways. One of the way is to perform FDT tests, field density tests. Field density tests are sand cone method or sand replacement method. So, if you perform sand replacement method, you will obtain dry density and moisture content. In the field, you can perform speedy moisture test to determine the moisture content of the soil sample. Then there is another method core cutter. Core cutter method is a field density method basically to determine the density of the soil at the field. And in the, ne uh, in the next method is rubber balloon method. You can perform rubber balloon method as well to obtain the dry density of the soil sample. What if you do not have the field density test results, then what will you do in order to obtain the dry density and moisture content? Let us assume you cannot perform this test on the field and you want to have these parameters like dry density and moisture content. So, in case you do not have FDT results or either it is not possible for you to perform the FDT test and you just have the soil sample in the disturbed state and you want to remold them. So, you will perform proctor test, proctor test and using the proctor test you will obtain MDD maximum dry density and OMC optimum moisture content. As we know that MDD cannot be obtained 100% at the site. So, if we obtain 1.9 gram per centimeter cube MDD and 18 percent OMC, then we need to apply a factor like 95 percent of this MDD will be used generally. It is mentioned in the in some of the literatures that you need to multiply 0.95 into 1.99 in order to obtain the dry density that will be used for the remolding of the soil sample and similarly you will multiply 0 0.95 with the OMC. So, using Proctor test you will obtain dry density and moisture content. So, these are the techniques uh, through which you can have these parameters. Now, let us assume you have these parameters and you want to remove the soil sample. As we know that density is equals to mass per unit volume. If it is dry density, it will be dry soil solids. Mass, you can say it is weight of soil solids. So, you must have the volume. Let us say we have the dimensions of the mold dia as 40 mm and height as 80 mm. You need to calculate the volume of the mold and you have the dry density, you will find out the mass of soil solid, dry soils. So, let us find out the volume of the mold if it is circular pi by 4 d square into h. 
so you will obtain the volume of the mold and you have the dry density you will find out the dry soil mass remember dry soil mass then you need to obtain the mass of water let's assume you obtain 100 gram of mass of dry soil and there is 10% of the moisture content so 10% of 100 gram will be 10 gram of water will be used so water, mass of water is 10 gram you will mix these two quantities and will remold the soil sample by compacting in the layers in the mold so this is how you remold the soil sample what if you have the bulk density let's assume you have the bulk density and you want to remold the soil sample so in the first step you will find out the gamma dry that can be found out using this formula 1 plus moisture content then you have gamma dry again you have the moisture content and using these two values you will remold the soil sample according to the dimensions of the mold so this is how you remold the soil sample in laboratory for the performance of the track test i hope you like this video and if you don't if you like the video don't forget to subscribe and share